fish that can do that. Look at those teeth. Woo! Good job, good job. Woohoo! Yeah! Oh, the big Hey guys, what is up and welcome to the next episode of Hooked on OC here on WMDT TV 47. We're here every Sunday morning at 7 o'clock, a couple Stop, other times Chuck. throughout the week. <laughs> and this is Captain Jim Emanuel. He likes to interrupt me all day long, but I don't mind. <laughs> I don't mind. When you're only catching tall tog and rockfish in Ocean City, sometimes you got to do things a little bit differently. And I love me some freshwater fishing, and there's nobody in the area that's better than this guy. Saw him at the Ocean City Boat Show a couple of years ago, and he had a string of crappy, some pickle and some bass and that sort of thing. So we started going along with him, and I've loved it ever since. So the jerk baits, appropriately named, come out. A couple of crabby bobbers and that sort of thing. Chuck the drum guy, quote unquote, is driving the chase boat crashing into us as usual. <laughs> we'll be right back after the break doing some pond fishing on the eastern shore. We'll be right back. Hooked on OC. We'll be right back. Firestorm has the area's largest selection of sunglasses to choose from. Brand names like Oakley, Maui Jim, Bond Zipper, Electric, Ray-Ban, Costa, Smith, and Spy. Over 3,000 pairs of great brand name sunglasses. Nobody has this kind of selection anywhere. Firestorm has a great selection of watches featuring Nixon, G-Shock, Neff, and Freestyle. Over 32,000 square feet of awesome surfwear and equipment. Visit Quiet Surf Shop today on the boardwalk at North Division Street. Sunset Marina is Ocean City's premier full-service marina resort. Sunset Marina is located just five minutes from the Ocean City beach and boardwalk. Sunset's charter fleet boasts the finest fleet of sport fishing boats in the mid-Atlantic, all operated by Coast Guard licensed captains. One look at Sunset's amenities and you're hooked for good. Contact Sunset Marina today to book your fishing charter. Call 1-877-514-FISH. And now, back for more Hooked on OC. Yeah, buddy, freshwater fishing adventures with Captain Jim. <laughs> That sounds like a series in itself. <laughs> Captain Wacko. <laughs> These people here. That was their land. Uh... Right. Okay. So. Here we go. Enjoy the show. Okay. Thanks a lot. I'm back. <laughs> I'm back in the smallest boat on earth. Hey. This is way too deep. I mean, get out of here. Okay. All right. <coughs> All right. He likes to start seriously fishing in a minute. He likes to do a quick tour of the entire fishing facility, and then we get yeah. to work after that. You know yeah. the boat's in gear, right? 
Well, I'm sure really sorry. <laughs> So as we get started here, we might eventually end up using the anchor. So yeah. I, I will be Ron Burgundy, <laughs> anchor man today. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. And Jim was nice enough to change the rope. Last time we went fishing with Captain Jim. You remember that, right? This rope was about six feet long. No, it wasn't. And we were fishing in 12 feet of water. <laughs> and it was covered with slime and goo. And this is much, much better. This is uh, this is made for it was towing, for you. towing inflatables and stuff. And he's hooked me up. <laughs> for you, I did this. You do a lot for me, and I appreciate it. <laughs> All right. If you can get me to the spot in this pond where the fish are, I'd appreciate that too. Uh, I think I will. Just a sec. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go catch one. Make sure the rest is still in here. <laughs> All right. Let me turn this contraption around. All right. Getting real here. Okay. All right. Now what we're gonna do? Which way is that wind blowing? She's blowing out of the uh, east, kind of east okay. southeast. Okay. So we're going into it, sort of. We're definitely going into it right okay. now. Okay. Yep. All right, let's do this. All right, let me move up. All right, so we're going to start off working the, some of these areas that Jim's had success in the past, and we're using what's called a jerk bait. Um, not named after anyone in particular. It's just a style of fishing. So what we'll do is we'll cast it out, we'll let it sit, and the lip on the front of the lure We'll get it to a certain depth and then the harder you jerk it the deeper it'll go and you let it sit if you find an area where you've got it in the water column where the fish bite that's what you try and do on the next time jerk it just hard enough or just long enough so it gets into that part of the water column where the fish are hanging out or where they like to take a bite and then you want to try and duplicate that for the rest of your fishing trip so what we're doing as we get started here is working different parts of the water column until we get a bite and then it's on, Jim, it's on. Yeah. on OC. We'll be right back. Right now at Arctic Heating and Air Conditioning, we're offering our 16 sear heat pump system with matching variable speed blower for super low pricing. All pricing includes standard insulation, a 10-year part, and 10-year labor warranty. And if you're not in the market for a new system, we service all make and model air conditioners, heat pumps, gas furnaces, and ductless mini splits. Let Arctic Heating and Air Conditioning keep you comfortable this season. Park Place Jewelers, we believe your true love should be wearing the brightest diamond in the room. Why do seemingly identical diamonds have a 70% difference in price? Park Place Jewelers is introducing the Bright Crystal Diamond, which is scientifically proven to be in the world's top 10% of all the world's brightest natural diamonds. Come into Park Place Jewelers and find out why from virtual reality to third-party validation and a GIA grading report, we will provide more buyer education and instill confidence in our customers that the Bright Crystal Diamond they are buying is a world-class diamond. In the early days of the boardwalk in Ocean City, Mr. J.T. Thrasher introduced a unique concept, one in which a food concession stand would specialize in only one product. Yes, in 1929, Mr. Thrasher had one goal, to produce the best tasting french fry ever. 
Today, five generations and 84 years later, tradition still reigns supreme. The emphasis is on quality and nowhere will a better french fry be found. Now Thrasher's, the best french fries on the planet, can be found on 2nd Street in the Boardwalk and 8th Street in the Boardwalk, as well as our original location at the pier. Did you know you can bring in your prescription to an optical galleria? Did you know an optical galleria has a lab and makes glasses right here in OC? Did you know an optical galleria is an authorized Costa RX dealer? It's simple. An optical galleria can help you see. If you want awesome old school customer service and hot new styles, bring your prescription in to an optical galleria today. The place to see and be seen. Make an optical galleria your destination for eyewear. Atlantic Tackle. We know fishing. Atlantic Tackle is the Mid-Atlantic's most complete tackle store, showcasing a huge selection of rods and reels, bait and tackle, fishing apparel, eyewear, and ocean-inspired home decor from industry leaders like Penn, Shimano, Bait Masters, Costa, Smith Optics, Pelagic, Hook, Olakai, Extra Tough, and Yeti. Stop by Atlantic Tackle on Sunset Avenue across from Sunset Grill in West Ocean City or visit us online at AtlanticTackle.com. And now, back for more Hooked on OC. Okay, come on, fish. There he is. There he is. Happens every time. First guy. <laughs> There we go. What do we got here? <laughs> Pickle. Yeah. Pickle. Small pickle. Spin them around and show the folks. There we go. Small pickle. All right, skunks out of the box. We'll probably catch more of these during the wintertime. Pickerel, they start feeding pretty heavy. They're, they're one of the colder water uh, feeders out here. Bass and crappie, they're a little bit more lethargic in the winter. Water temperature's still pretty good. Nice day like today. Sun's out, warming it up even more. Um, but we'll probably catch more of those than anything. Hopefully not. Uh, I think we'll catch more crappies. He thinks we'll catch more crappies. I like the sound of that. But skunk is out of the box. Nice going. Thank you. Okay. That's really cool. Feels like a crap. <laughs> this feels like a crappy. It is. Oh, it's a bass. Huh? Look at that. Oh, you got a January bass. Look at that, man. Start the year off right. <laughs> All right, so now that's pretty oh, cool. I just had a the boat. The boat has caught a trifecta. The boat has caught a slam. You call it a trifecta. I call it the freshwater <laughs> slam. We got three fish and we've already caught. The freshwater slam. Um, if we accidentally catch a bluegill or something, that's a super slam, I yeah. guess. Jimmy, you got a uh, pair of needle nose. I got them down in the bottom where I can't get to it. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Uh, yeah. First bass of the year. For your boat? No. For me? No, for you. Dude, that's my first fish of the year. Yeah. January bass. I love it. Yeah. If it would stay like this, it'd be perfect today, huh? Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah. We've been a pretty mild winter so far. Yeah, so far. No complaints from me. We were out. We were out a couple times where, by the end of the day, it, it was so cold. You know, it, it chills you to the bone. Yeah. You know, no matter how much you're bundled up. Don't you have some laundry to do or something instead? Hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, got him. There you go. <laughs> Pick a rail. Okay. Yeah, oh. dude. All right, now I'm I'm two fish to the toward it. Yes, you are. Beautiful. All right, now, folks, pickerel are not a fish that you're going to want to lip. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty major teeth. So get him around small fish like this, get him around the back of the head. He does have some spikes up by his gill plate. And yeah. then needle nose pliers is the best way to go because if I look at this fish and just take a quick gander, eh, not so bad, right? 
you put your fingers in there, you'll find out the hard way that it is really, really bad. And Pickerel are built just like a pike, same family. Have very, very sharp teeth. The uh, interesting thing too is their 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 gill rakers Thank are you. extremely sharp. When very, you, very you sharp. Stick your hand up yep. under that gill plate. You got problems. Super fun fish to catch. They've even got a couple of tournaments. One's going on right now, uh, January. Uh, the CCA of Maryland, my buddy Dave Sikorsky, they put on a, a pickerel tournament every year. <laughs> and uh, really, really fun fish to catch. All right, man. Now it's a race to the, to the freshwater slam. Yeah. I think you caught the difficult one on the... Uh, on the um, what, jerk the crappie? bait? Yeah, I think crappie was, wasn't he the like, outlier on the jerk bait? Mm -hmm. They, they hit him good in this pond. Okay, well. Yeah. Like I said, you just gotta remember what the water temperature is. It's yeah, not, it's cold. You know, it's not 46 or 48 degrees, it's down there. You can't even think about using soft plastics. No way. You know. I mean, you could, but you're not gonna catch them. I mean, yeah, a pickerel will bite them, Cinco. But the bass will absolutely stay away from them. You know what, I think this water is about 40, 41 degrees. Yeah, I'd say you're right around the ballpark, Scott. Oh, here comes a crap. I want a crap. Calling the shot, Babe Ruth style, here we go. Crappy, it's positive thinking. You know, when we did this at Jimmy's place, I don't think I caught one on the jerk bait. No, you didn't, but you caught your bass on jerk bait. Thanks for remembering that. You got your first first bass, right? Yeah. On the jerk bait. Yep. It's cool. Yeah. It's cool. Because yeah. nothing, nothing. You can feel the weight of the, you know, the resistance from the, the, um, the lip on the front of, the, of yeah. the bait. But other than that, it's just a little twitch. But then when that fish gets on there, it's, it's like a, a little bump. It loads up. <laughs> yeah, you can't tell how, if, you know, if it's four inches long or four pounds. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. We catch a lot of fish here at Hooked on OC, and my JPR custom rods are nothing but the best. Some of the finest inshore, offshore, casting, spinning, and trolling rods on the planet today. Custom rods, custom logos, all at unbeatable prices. Go to JPRrods.com. With over 130 years combined experience, Midshore Electronics offers a team of FCC licensed, factory trained, and CMET technicians that are ready for any marine electronics installation, modification, or repair. No project too small. Midshore Electronics provides the most innovative marine electronics solutions available and our work has been voted best on the bay for over 20 years. With locations in both Cambridge and Ocean City, you can depend on Midshore Electronics to give you the highest quality of sales, installation, and design services available. Visit our website, stop by, or call us today. Hey guys, what's up? We're here with Luke from Sandmarks Marketing. He's here to tell us all about this awesome guy he's got it ready for you to pick up in town. Luke, what's up? Hey Scott, how you doing? Thanks. Luke Howard from Sandmarks Marketing here to introduce the premier edition of uh, Destination Ocean City in the Delaware Beach. Got a great golf guide in here. Of course, you got something for the fishermen. I do. I also have spa, salon, and attractions for the wife and family too. We're a comprehensive overview of the entire Delmarva area. Pick it up in your hotel room while you're in town. Look for the beach chair and you'll be there. Tipsy Tiki is a floating tiki bar, the only one in the Ocean City area that is Coast Guard certified for 12 passengers with a Maryland State liquor license. Great for bachelor, bachelorette parties, and birthdays, anniversaries. Enjoy a calm cruise in the backwaters behind Assateague Island in Ocean City. The cost is $70 per person, which includes a 90-minute cruise and full bar service. You can bring your own food or you can call Crab Alley for carryout. Check us out at Facebook or our website at tipsytiki.com. Call 443-606-0822. Our friendly crew is ready to welcome you aboard. And now back for more Hooked on OC. I just got in contact with a guy that used to fish with us during tournaments. I used to run a boat called Champagne. Mm -hmm. And this guy 
was an animal transporter. He transported monkeys to laboratories and stuff like that. Really? Yeah. His name was Bill. Is he the guy that started Planet of the Apes then? Yeah, pretty much. We were up at Pond in Delaware. And my goodness, we caught some fish up there. Was that the pickerel day? Yeah, we caught bass. We caught everything. We caught bass, pickerel, and crap. And stuff. We really loaded up on him for, Jesus, 50 years. We ran the same boat. Have you known him for 50 years? Joey's only 45. No, he's not. <laughs> Come on, fish. Half a knot. Oh, there he goes. There we go. Come on, bass. It's bass. Probably a pickerel. It's a crappy. crappy big one. Oh, that's a nice one, Jimmy. Yeah. Holy moly. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crappy. <laughs> that is a good one, bud. Look at that slab. Okay. Oh right. my. Look at that, brother. That's a doozy. Nice going. Yes, sir. Wow. That's, see, that's the one I need to catch. Yeah. Here, let me take a picture of you with that. Okay. I'm going to put put it in the old Instagram feed later. All right. <laughs> you folks are watching me do this. Make sure you check us out on the social medias. Put it more in front of your face so I can't see anything. There you go. <laughs> Check us out on the Facebook and the Instagrams. We got a couple of them on there. Hooked on OC on Facebook. Hooked on OC on Instagram. Fishing OC on Facebook. And I Fishing OC on Instagram. And don't forget Unseen Productions on Instagram as well. Always putting this kind of stuff up. Yeah. Right? Sure. Put some stuff we got going on around the house. All kinds of stuff, man. Check it out. Give us a follow. All right, so you're looking for a largemouth bass. I'm looking for a crappy. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah, nice one. They're bigger in here, too. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey. Get on there. Pick a rail. Yeah, buddy. I don't know where all the big ones are. He took my lure. Oh, no. Oh, no. I told you about those teeth, didn't I? You got to. Look at that. Listen, what you sort of got to do. Got them to the boat. Hold on, let me get corrected water. here real quick. What do I got to do? You grab them in the water. Okay. Okay, let me see. What's that? I'll do that from now on, even though you didn't do it when you caught yours. I could see where he was hooked. <laughs> if it, no, seriously. If that hook, if, if that lure is deep in it. Oh, ow! Got him. Okay. I'm gonna give you a well, hand one. I'm gonna swivel. Yeah, that's okay. snap. Just a little yep. snap. Yep. It's easier to change. All right. So a little bit of a. I owe Jim twelve dollars now. Nah. Um, but that just goes to show you how sharp the teeth on that pickerel are. That fish was hooked well right in the corner. I went to lift him out of the water, and once I got a little bit more pressure on yeah. him, and he shook once, that was all it took. And I can look at my line right now, and it is frayed up from yeah. six I inches know. above this break all the way down. One tooth hits it the wrong way, and that's all she wrote. But yeah. got another one to the boat and released. Now I'm looking for a crappy. You having fun, Jim? Yes, I always have fun. There he is. Oh, look at that! Nice. That's a bigger fish. Hopefully he's got a lure. Oh, that's a bigger Hopefully fish. Hopefully he's got a lure in his ah, mouth. He got off. Oh no! No way! How did that happen? I don't know. There's two trouble hooks in these rigs. <laughs> oh my goodness! And you've been catching fish on these rods for a couple years now, yeah. and you, for you to say that's a good one. Yeah. That was a good one. That's all right, let's get this bad luck run out of the way right now. Mm. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. Featuring the finest and largest fleet of charter boats in the Mid-Atlantic region, the Ocean City Fishing Center has been the premier spot for offshore sports fishing for four decades. Whether it's a family outing, a corporate event, or just a day on the water with your friends, all our charters are led by Coast Guard licensed captains and boast knowledgeable crews dedicated to helping you catch the big ones. Call us today and book your charter. 
we accommodate groups of all sizes. The Ocean City Fishing Center. The locals know it's the best place to go. Hey everybody, looking for what's going on in and around Ocean City? Pick up the dispatch. 25,000 copies in over 200 locations all around Delmarva. And the Fishing OC Fishing Report by yours truly with pictures from Dave Messick and some of the best captains in the biz. Pick it up. Racetrack Marine, the area's premier Tidewater Center Console and Sylvan Pontoon Boat Dealer. In stock or custom order Tidewater starting at 18 feet and Sylvan Pontoons up to 27 feet. Service, maintenance, and trailers. Find it all here at Racetrack Marine. We buy, broker, and sell pre-owned boats too. Deep discounts and the best stem to stern warranty available. Say goodbye to last year's boat repairs. Stop dreaming and start boating today. Racetrack Marine, the place that does it all. You know Miller Lite only has one more calorie, right? Ah, and more taste! Good choice! Top Dog Services is built on an essential response attitude and has been serving the entire East Coast since 1994. In these uncertain times, we understand our customers' need for an immediately safe environment. Top Dog is now specializing in electrostatic cleaning as well as full commercial janitorial services for clients that include the U.S. Pentagon. We have crews ready to efficiently and proactively address and clean confirmed COVID-19 areas to allow a safe return to the space at the earliest convenience. Give Top Dog Services a call to find out why our motto stands strong. Lean on experience, adapt to new ideas. And now back for more Hooked on OC. There he is. Oh, he got off. Oh. That was a crappie. That was a crappie. How do you know? Huh? How do you know? Oh, I can tell. Seriously, that was a crappie. Literally, literally, and I don't use the word literally too lightly because it's annoying nowadays. Literally, six to ten inches behind my bait, just as I pulled it out of the water, a crappy, because I saw the spots and the stripes, this big, <laughs> followed my bait. And it was three feet below the surface. Oh my goodness, that was a big one. <laughs> you saw me stopping my tracks. It yeah. was right there, man. Mm. And these, uh, these glasses, obviously, I mean, they pick it up, no problem. Oh, that was a doozy. Die, die, die. Moving fast, too. I mean, it was it cruised yeah. right up on it when it was sitting still, and then yeah. I popped it out of the water. Yeah. Wow, that was a nice fish. Let's see, we can't get a bass over here. I need a bass fish. Yeah, you need a bass, and I need a crappie. And the fresh well, water one, slam will be complete. You caught huh? a crappie. No, I didn't. Yeah. Uh -uh. Did I do it while we were talking about it? <laughs> that would be the ultimate <coughs> fishing luck. You know luck. what? That would be the ultimate Lennox fishing luck if this is a crappie. And I caught one while we were talking about it to complete to complete the freshwater slam. <laughs> <laughs> you got one? Freshwater slam complete, Jimmy. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> While I was reminding you that I had yet to catch one, <coughs> see how it is that the fishing the fishing <coughs> gods were looking out for me. Yeah. <laughs> Can I borrow your uh, yeah, sure. needle nose again? Yeah. He just got it in there for a good. Here they are. Yeah. He's down some grass. <laughs> Man, do I love freshwater fishing. I, mean, I like saltwater fishing <laughs> a lot. Probably more nowadays I'm older and take my family and yeah. we do a TV show on it and stuff. Yeah. I grew up doing this, man. Yeah. Well, we all started out in sweet water. You know? You got it side hooked. Mm -hmm. There we go. Get off of there. That is so cool. Look at that. These are some nice fish, huh. Captain Jim. Really, really nice fish. Good. There it is, folks. There's crappy all over the eastern shore. Maryland, Delaware, Virginia. You can find a freshwater pond. Some small minnows, jerk baits like Captain Jim and I are using today. You can have some really quality fishing 
take the kids. It's great for the kids. Pokemoke River is full of these guys too. Not quite this size, but that is definitely an eating sized fish. You get two nice fillets off that bad boy. Super fun to catch. Freshwater slam complete. Thank you, bro. <laughs> See you next time. Hey, that you got one. the slam. Yeah, we got the, <laughs> got the slam. One slam down, one to go. Thanks, buddy. You're welcome, pal. And you know what? Uh, that one wasn't as big as the one I saw swim away. Yeah, I'm sure. That couldn't have been. We couldn't have played that out much better. Way to strip that, that out, was funny. Man. That was well done. Yes. Jim, Jim hit his lines right on the mark. You already caught a crab. <laughs> I didn't. No, you know what? I I, I remember when well, the I'm bass, just, you, you thought it was a crappie. Remember you said, oh, yeah, I got a crappie. Yeah, I said that, bass. right. Yep. That's yep. why I got that in yep. my mind. Yep. And then I held yours for yeah. a second, but so I can see yeah. the confusion. But literally, as I'm explaining to Jim that I have not yet caught a crappie, and I have not completed the freshwater slam, I think, I think you were rolling, right? And then all of a sudden, you were close enough to roll, and then... There he was. Oh, cool. Where was he? Was he out that way? Got him? Yep. Okay. Let's go up again and we'll come back down. Aye. All right. All right, folks. So what we're going to do now is the wind's starting to pick up just a hair, but freshwater fishing on ponds and small boats like this are very, very light. You can move really, really quickly. So. Captain Jim wants to slow us down a little bit, so what we're going to do is we are going to deploy the drift side. Uh, I've seen guys use this one to troll and flounder over on the bay behind Ocean City. Basically what it does is it opens up like this, it catches water, lets it go slowly to the other side. So as you're drifting along, this is making resistance in the water and slows your drift down as you go. So you've got to tie it off to the front of the boat here, we'll just get some water going in it. And then it'll probably pull us that direction and we'll slow down. See it engaging now. Yeah. And you'll be fine. So. Simple as that. Really great tool if you want to slow your drift down on a windy day without having to mess with the motor and that sort of thing. And I'm bound to get this lure tangled up in it. Nah. Just kidding. Nah. You can steer these fish. It's cool, there's a noticeable difference with this now in the water because before I didn't have to reel much of my slack yeah. in and now I'm having to reel slack in yeah. because we're drifting slow. Yeah. So don't be afraid to use these over on the bay behind Ocean City folks. If you're drifting too fast, flounder fishing or drifting up and down a jetty casting for rock fish or whatever. These things will really slow you down pretty good. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. One of the shore's best kept secrets is a secret no more. Ocean Pines Golf and Country Club is home to the only Robert Trent Jones Senior Championship Golf Course on the Eastern Shore. Ocean Pines is set amongst natural wetlands and scenic woodlands, making it a must play. Experience golf as it was meant to be played. Call 410-641-6057 or visit us online at oceanpinesgolf.org to book your tee time today. Pure lure, baby. Pure lure. Are you looking for the best crabs on this side of the Chesapeake Bay? Then head on over to Crabs to Go on the corner of Route 50 and 589. For over 20 years, Crabs to Go has been bringing you the fattest, tastiest crabs on the eastern shore available by the bushel or by the dozen. We also offer a full menu including shrimp, clams, oysters, scallops, lobster tails, crab meat, and soft crabs. Call ahead for fast, hot carryout. 
or stop by for our homemade crab cakes, soups, and salads. This is where the locals come. Crabs to go, routes 50 and 589, West Ocean City. And now back for more Hooked on OC. All right, folks, welcome back. So we are switching uh, tactics to go strictly crappy fishing now because I love it. <laughs> Captain knows I love it. So what we're doing is we're switching to these crappy rigs and it's a really great outfit. Same, same rod set up, eight pound test or so. And we learned about these a few years ago fishing with Captain Brian B. This is the slip bottle. Really, really cool idea here. You see that little bit of line, that is actually supposed to be there. So that slip knot can go up and down the line, but it can also go through the eyes of the rod so I can reel it all the way back if I need to. And what happens is when you put that in there, that bobber will sit straight and then once it runs into the knot, it stops. So I can set it at a particular depth. I've got it at about four feet right now. Captain Jim said we should stop around four feet. The bobber will slip all the way through and then stop right there. So my, my distance from the bobber is about four feet. So. Oh, there we go, that's what we're looking at. Slip bobber goes to a uh, split shot sinker that's on the line about a foot above the jig. Got a little chartreuse jig there, and that's tipped with a crappy nibble. Is that the official name for those? Uh, yeah, crappy nibbles. That's what nibbles, you call Crappy nibbles, right? It looks like, yeah, it's looks Berkeley, like a little, little Berkeley tic -tac. bait. It's a little Berkeley bait that tips that, gives them a little added incentive to come eating that jig. So we're all set, we'll cast it out here, see if four feet is the right depth, mm. and see if we can catch something. I love me some crappy fishing. That way? Yeah. Up in front of you. Okay. Bip. All right. Yeah. Come on, fish. He's got. <laughs> he's off. We stopped over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's there off. he is. There he is. There he is. Okay, we got him now. <laughs> All right, now I feel better. That was funny. Can you believe that? <laughs> this Did is either that? this is either a pickerel or a really that big crappie. Right here. <laughs> I'm messing with the line. This is either a pickerel yeah. or a really big crappie. I'm going with pickerel. It's yep. a pickerel. Yep. 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 That was a really big crappie. Yeah, I saw that. that. That's crazy. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Where are you hooked? He's good. There he is. So pickerels eat anything too, folks. <laughs> pickerels eat anything too. That's funny. Jim had a little bit of a, uh, I wouldn't say issue. He's changing the, the depth of his, of his slip knot <laughs> and literally had it sit beside the boat. Next to the boat, the bobber was just like this, and blue, the crappy decided to eat it right next to the boat. And there's another pickle. See this. Wow. A lot of fun catching these fish like that. It's funny when nothing, 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 all of a sudden they start biting. <laughs> Great fish. See you later, brother. Do you have that container? Yeah. Crappy nibbles. Oh, no. Oh, right the crappy nibbles now. I the side pocket. Yeah, I need one, too. loaded. <laughs> <laughs> That was funny. You just dropped another one, too. Yes, I know. I said, what the heck was that? I just found a fish. <laughs> Hooked on OC. We'll be right back. It's beyond the gun. It's the brain before the bullet. It's not you doing a drill. It's you mastering a skill that could save your life. Fortress Training trains both beginners and advanced shooters on the skill of carrying a firearm and is unlike any other training. Fortress Training has helped over 2,000 people successfully obtain a Maryland Wear and Carry Permit. If you qualify, we can help. Public, private, and corporate events for training are also available. Train at the next level. Train with Fortress Training. PYY Marine is the Mid-Atlantic's choice for Yellowfin, Cape Horn, and Solus boats and is an authorized factory trained sales and service center for Yamaha, Mercury, and Suzuki engines. PYY Marina in Pasadena, Maryland offers affordable slips and the gated facility offers 24-hour surveillance for worry-free storage. Whether it's education, service, slips, sales, or storage, our goal is to make boating easy and fun. Give our experienced crew a call and let our customer service speak for itself. Why PYY Marine? Why not?
And now back for more Hooked on OC. Hey guys, welcome back. It is Angler's Advantage time here at Atlantic Tackle in West Ocean City, right down the street from Sunset Marina and Sunset Provisions, right across the street from Sunset Grill. What we like to do is we like to find reputable product reps, and when we can't, we talk to people like Bill Pino. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> that's late. That's illegal. I got the wrong one. Jeez. Dude, what's up? How so are you? normally we're talking about the Squid Nation stuff, but yes. you've got this new product line out that I was lucky enough to try last year right. that really, really works. Tell me about it. Otter tails. Otter tails. They're yep. really cool. You yep. see? Everybody I do. catches them. Yep. <laughs> so <laughs> anyway, these things, um, we made a product called um, Fin Skins. Yep. We talked and, about that last year. Yes. And the Fin Skins are made by the guy who makes otter tails. Okay. Uh, we, we struck a deal with them and we, we, we purchased the company and it's Otter Tails by Squid Nation now. Oh, okay, wow. And uh, this is our introduction to inshore fishing. Uh, we use it for rockfish, we use it uh, in freshwater for largemouth bass, for yep. snakeheads. I was sea bass flounder last year with it. Sea bass and flounder, from what I understand, they're absolutely killer on sea bass, the tiny they, they the shorts. Yep. Um, a lot of guys are starting to use them deep dropping. Uh, there's there's all sorts of applications for them, but what I like to use them for the most is rock fishing. Okay. Uh, I love rock fishing in the rivers in the Chesapeake Bay, uh, the Nanakoke, the Wacomico, the Minokin, all those rivers. Uh, I like I like using them. And uh, right now we're outside the Hongo. We're out in the middle of the bay. There's a million birds out there. We cast into the birds. The action on these things are incredible. The the, the coolest part about otter tails, uh, I think anyway, is I'll show you this one here. This is on a bucktail. This is my rockfish killer yeah, right now. I accidentally did what you're about to say, and you're right. I've had this otter tail on this bucktail for about no less than 75 rockfish. Okay. And, and you're, you're not talking putting it back in the packaging on no, there. You're no, talking it's, about left it, on there. I leave it on here, and yep. I throw it in my truck. Sometimes when I'm driving home and I see a bridge that looks appetizing to a rockfish i stop and i just cast and then I, you know yep. i catch one or two i throw them back and then i put this in the truck uh just feel that thing without feeling the hook feel that thing yeah okay that thing looks, just like it came out of here except it's not wet except for it's not wet yep. they are extremely tough they are extremely durable they do not dry rot on your rod uh, i don't want to say too tough but when you first gave them to me last year i couldn't get some of them off the hook I will tell you this. If you have a big barb on your hook, you know what I'm saying, right? I will tell you this, and I'm not advertising any other tackle shop because we're at Atlantic and I love Atlantic tackles. I have a customer in New Jersey who I love. He's a great, great customer of mine. He won't carry otter tails because they're too tough. Wow. He says, what am I going to do? I'm yeah, going to sell a customer one jar, yeah. and that's it for the season. Yeah, uh, gotcha. And, and honestly... Uh, it, it's the truth. They're extremely, extremely durable. That being said, we do have many shapes and sizes and yeah, colors. Yeah, I've got pink in my hand right now. This is the curly short. Curly and short how many do you pink have? is one of the absolute <coughs> best ones. I, I like, this is a curly short white. This is my favorite. Yep. Curly short white. Curly That's going to be more like your grub tail action, right? That's your grub tail yep. action, uh, that, uh, you know, for casting and stuff. We have, uh, we have the split. We have the longs. Yeah. Um, There's the chartreuse green kind of a... Uh, uh, yeah, that's, that's really chartreuse, but there's your lime green color. That's the straight long. That's about a six inch bait that is just strictly straight. And you get a white one of those. There's it your looks green just and like curly a, long. That white, cur that, that white straight long looks just like a squid strip. It does. Yeah, it but looks way like tougher. You put one of those on there. And it, when you, like I say, when you gave it to me last year, I did some uh, sea bass and flounder fishing on a wreck with a buddy. And I put that on there. I didn't change it the rest of the day. It was on there the entire time, caught several fish with it. Um, and then, it, I, like I say, I put it on the, the uh, eye of the rod and left it there and found it a couple of weeks later, was going to do some other kind of fishing and literally had to cut it off. It, they, are, they are absolutely uh, one of the toughest baits. Anyway, otter tails, yep. give them a try. Uh, pretty much any type of inshore application. We've caught redfish on them. We've caught trout on them in the bay, uh, in the rivers, uh, you, you know, sea bass, uh, de uh, bottom fishing, yep. flounder fishing. Yep. So give them a try. They're absolutely outstanding. Uh, you can get them here at Atlantic Tackle, right in front of the register. They're literally right here in front right of the in register. Front of the yeah. register. Just turn around and pick up 10 or 12 of these Basically jars. anything that you can catch a grub tail on in all the different colors of grub tails and gulps and that sort of thing come in, otter tails is going to catch them too. Bill Pino, Squid Nation, let's do it. Dot com! Dot com! Dot <laughs> We're so awkward! <laughs> we'll be right back after the break. 
Hooked on OC. We'll be right back. Sunset Provisions is Delmarva's largest marine supply retailer, stocking an unmatched selection of pumps, paints, hoses, cosmetic care products, and marine hardware. Featuring the absolute best brands in the industry, combine this unbelievable in-stock selection of top-name brands with super competitive pricing and a seasoned staff that can help you navigate your project. Make Sunset Provisions Delmarva's go-to marine supply store. So stop by or call today and see for yourself what makes Sunset Provisions the area's best marine supply store. Sunset Provisions is located in West Ocean City at Sunset Marina. At Spencer Yachts, your dreams can become a reality in a sport fishing yacht unequaled in style, performance, and value. Spencer Yachts has taken the Carolina style of boat building and transformed it into a world-class, high-performance sport fishing yacht. Spencer Yachts Brokerage is Spencer Yachts' in-house trusted yacht broker with extensive market knowledge. New to Spencer Yachts Brokerage is the beautiful 77-foot Jarrett Bay Boatworks sport fish, Mama Who. Check out Mama Who and all that Spencer Yachts Brokerage has to offer at SpencerYachtsInc.com. AquaTraction Custom Design Marine Flooring Products have exceptional traction wet or dry, making your boat safer, cleaner, and more comfortable. AquaTraction Flooring is durable, stain resistant, and backed with 3M adhesive specifically designed to withstand the harshest marine environments. With 23 nationwide reps, AquaTraction has an unmatched 3-year warranty, provides the fastest turnaround time, and has unparalleled customer service. Check out AquaTraction.com to find out why I've got it in my boat and how it's charter proven all around the country. Just what exactly does Okaya mean? Okaya means strength. Okaya means dependability. Okaya means value. Okaya means fishing. Check out the full line of Okaya rods, reels, and accessories at okaya.com and find out for yourself why thousands of customers around the world rely on Okaya fishing equipment. Because Okaya means business. Now back for more Hooked on OC. All right, this is a fish. I'm catching a fish. This cast. Water? That's what I'm wondering if it was ducks, diving ducks, or yeah, there's, slasher. There is something on the surface down there. It looks like ducks. Yeah. You know what else is crazy about these ponds? What? You'll see turtles in every month of the year down here. Yeah. Every month. They'll jump up on a log or something yeah. or a rock to get warm. Yeah. Switched, right? Oh yeah, I was just getting ready to say that. I think they know a front's coming. Yeah, the front's sure coming is. tonight. It got chilly. I'm thinking about putting my skull yeah, cap on. We definitely it got had so a cold. The wind definitely switched had a direction, winter and the fish first. The fish have stopped biting. So let's, let's right. get this little boat to the curb. Get it loaded up. Okay, there's we'll a say goodbye in just a second. The, the paddle's right <laughs> under <laughs> <laughs>
I think you got 12 volts back there to get us, get us more safely. Oh, it's dying. <laughs> you have to paddle. <laughs> okay. Here we go. No, this could be funny. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice one. Yeah, buddy. My God, you're a professional. Hold on a minute. The dismount. Not yet. Perfect. <laughs> Hooked on OC. We'll be right back. Top Dog Services is built on an essential response attitude and has been serving the entire East Coast since 1994. In these uncertain times, we understand our customers' need for an immediately safe environment. Top Dog is now specializing in electrostatic cleaning as well as full commercial janitorial services for clients that include the U.S. Pentagon. We have crews ready to efficiently and proactively address and clean confirmed COVID-19 areas to allow a safe return to the space at the earliest convenience. Give Top Dog Services a call to find out why our motto stands strong. Lean on experience, adapt to new ideas. Red Sun Custom Apparel opened for business in Ocean City, Maryland with the mission of providing total customer satisfaction. Our philosophy is simple. Offer a wide selection of leading products at competitive prices and provide high quality customer service seven days a week. Our customers place orders with confidence knowing they will be completed on time and accurate according to the high standards Red Sun Custom has quickly become known for. Call us today for all of your promotional needs. And now back for more Hooked on OC. Chuck, thanks very much, man. Couldn't have done that without you. Chuck's running the chase boat for us over here. It's kind of cool where we can be in one boat, Jim and I fishing, and then you guys and Chuck in the other boat. Kind of a new perspective and a, a really cool way of us shooting the show. We do this with Jim every year for the past couple years. And thank you, buddy. Thank you. Another great trip. Had a lot of fun. I'll take a hug. Yeah. <laughs> I love you. I appreciate you very much. Um, and it was a lot of fun, man. You know, this is something where during the off season we like to get out there and show people what's available, even in January, February, and March. Sure. A lot of freshwater fishing. You've been doing really well. I pay attention to your Facebook. You've been catching crappy, pickerel, bass, yeah. bluegill yeah. today. Um, and you do this pretty much every day, right? Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Retired, just like getting out in a little boat. And yeah. Having some fun. Have to fish. And you eat a bunch too, right? Yes, sir. Crappy is one of my favorites it's from good. when I was a kid. Really was Pickle one of my favorites when I was a kid. It's all good. We won't get into details about the lure, but yeah. you find anything jerk bait style, gold and black seem to work the best. Husky for jerks. Us. Husky jerks, you yeah, call them? Repel yeah, Rapala. Husky, husky jerks. They're what, pretty good. What companies make them? Well, they all do. Berkeley, Yuzuri. Yuzuri, yeah. uh, Rapala, uh, Strike King. Gotcha. Okay. They're, they're, all, yep. they're all good. And if you find any lightweight, like six to 12 pound test reel, rod and reel, you can do this stuff. It's great when you have a nice day during the winter. We're January, it got to be 50 degrees today. And we've bundled up now, now, late in the afternoon, the weather can change just like that. The wind switched direction, started blowing a little bit harder and it got downright cool. Yeah, it did. And that's when we decided to pull the plug and hit the road. Yeah. But we had a great day, we caught Freshwater slam for both That's of right. us. <laughs> <laughs> I, missed, I didn't have a bass. I didn't have a bass. No, no. I, yeah, I caught the bass, but you caught the bluegill and filled yeah. it out. If we would have, we, we caught the super slam in the yeah, boat. We caught the slam, super yeah. slam with four freshwater species today. Yeah, but it was a blast. Go. And yeah. just using those little, uh, those little jerk baits and then the uh, the crappy jigs. Yeah, it it's was a lot fun. of fun, man. Yeah, it is. It's something you can do with your kids. Yeah. Go out with your grandpa or your dad. Just yeah. reminds me That's of when sure. I was a kid, right? Yeah. It really is a lot yeah. of fun. 
And folks, you can find it all across Del Marva. You know, there's ponds everywhere. Just go, go online, do the old Google Earth thing, and look around your neighborhood. If you know it's a private pond, ask permission. Lots of people are very, very nice about that kind of thing. You got ponds in Delaware, Ocean Pines, Salisbury, down south to Pocomoke. The Pocomoke River is a great spot for this. There's guys that guide down there still. Captain Brian Behe is doing a couple of trips during the winter. You got Matt down there at Seahawks Sports Center that does Pocomoke River trips, catching bass and crappie and all sorts of stuff like that. It really is a great time and something to do during the winter when just the winter doldrums start to kick in before the rockfish and yeah. flounder yeah. and stuff start to show up that you know I'll be targeting as soon as they allow us to in the spring. All of the trade shows for this winter have been canceled, so I'm going to be out here doing this kind of stuff all winter. Anytime there's going to be a nice day, we're going to be on the water and that sort of stuff. You can check us out on Facebook, check us out on Instagram. I'm also going to be doing some live Facebook stuff on the Fish and OC page because the trade shows are canceled. We'll be doing some stuff with captains, talking about inshore and offshore charter fishing, party boat fishing. We'll do some back bay stuff. So check out our Facebook at Fish and OC. Check out our Hooked on OC Facebook as well. All the episodes of the show go right there every single week. HookedOnOC.com for all of your apparel. FishingOC.com for the daily fishing report. Anything you want to say to your loved ones or friends at home? I had a great time fishing with Scotty. You know, he's a great, great host. And uh, he's, and not a fun. <laughs> he's not a paid sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love you, buddy. I'm oh, glad yeah, we were connected a couple years ago. Yeah. We had a really great time today, folks. Stay tuned next time. We are going fishing off the beach with Captain Kane Bounds on the fish bound. Man, do I hope the weather cooperates for that one. The guy's got the world record tall tog at 28 and a half pounds. My on. Hopefully he puts on <coughs> us on a couple. We'll see you then. That's in a couple of weeks. Thanks for watching the show. And on cue, ring-a-ring-a-ding. See you next time. <laughs>